Preppers, Homestead Prepper here. Uh, what I want to show you is a uh, 200 amp generator transfer, transfer switch that I uh, acquired for free. Matter of fact, I actually got paid to acquire this thing. Um, if you have a, a generator for your home or your business, I highly recommend you get a transfer switch to uh, operate it. And the reason that we use a uh, transfer switch is what you don't want to do is you don't want to mix the power from the power company in with the power coming from your generator. And uh, real quickly, I don't know how to do this here. The, the way this works is, uh, and this is a three pole transfer switch right here. So if you have a home, you're only going to be using two poles for your hot. Probably what I would do is use this one right here for the neutral, the white wire, and your L1 and L2. Okay. Uh, the way it works is the power comes in the top here, like that, from your power company. 120, 120, which is 240 across. That's your neutral. So from here to here, you get 120, and from here to here, you get 120, but across you get 240. All right, it's pretty simple. And then what that does is when you throw the switch, this comes down here to this lug right here, these lugs right here, which this right here would be tied into your breaker panel. And then that would be tied into your neutral. So you uh, move the switch in the up position. If you notice right here, it's got on, off, on. Okay? So this would be your, when you throw this thing up, this goes to your uh, meter, your power company. This right here goes to your generator. And of course, the center position is it turns the whole thing off. Now, if you're we're going to run your generator, then uh, like I said, this these right here is going to be hooked up to your panel. This down here would run go to your generator. So, if you had a 240 volt generator, you'd hook your L1 here, your L2 here, and I'd hook my uh, neutral or my grounded conductor right there, not the grounding conductor, the grounded conductor, the white wire, the neutral. Okay. And then, of course, you would hook a ground wire over to here. Uh, but, uh, like I said, the reason this was replaced is because when you go to throw this thing in uh, the on position, it doesn't, it doesn't engage. So, you turn it like that, and it just won't, it just won't snap in. Now, I showed the people there that if you take this wrench, you go like that, then yeah, it'll it'll snap in and it works. But you know, they 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 got employees and you know employees uh, sometimes they, they're just too brain dead. They they can't understand that. And plus, do you want your employees sticking their hands in a live panel? Okay, I wouldn't. So we we replaced it, and uh, they were kind enough to give this to me. And um, so so to get that working, that's what you have to do. Now I knew it's repairable. If you uh, if you want to hook to the generator side. You just turn this off, and that side works fine. No problem when you go down into the generator mode. Um, but I want to show you how I was able to repair this. It's actually very simple. What I noticed is that when you go into your uh, regular power, what it would do is it would hit this piece of metal right here, if you can see that. So what I did is I just took a sawzall and I cut that right there and I cut that right there and I just took a, a pair of pliers and bent that down, which I'll break that off. I left this here for demonstration purposes and uh, now what will happen. you push that down that handle engages like it's supposed to anyway just a simple fix that the springs have worn out in this handle and this little stop was stopping it from engaging all the way so anyway if you get a chance to pick up a uh, transfer switch for you know a couple dollars you find one at a flea market hey Mandy and um, I would uh, I would definitely consider it now uh, there are people who don't use transfer switches 
and uh, what they do is they just hook into the uh, dryer plug or your range plug and um, of course you, you run a chance of turn the generator on with the power company's power and I guarantee you the power company's power is going to win over your generator and it's going to burn up the alternator inside your uh, your generator and I have been out to people's homes who have done that and um, it, it's, uh, it's very expensive <laughs> to replace that generator head in there so always get a transfer switch I don't recommend hooking uh, you know like you know doing some jack leg wiring don't recommend that unless it's an emergency and make sure you have a licensed professional around there when you do it. Uh, this is Homestead Prepper, out.